Hello folks and welcome to today's video. I'm on a mover scooter heading down 9th Avenue and I'm going to go to the Nike basketball court because if you arrive there before 4pm you can just walk in and shoot some hoops and I feel like playing a little bit of basketball in today's video and I'm possibly hitting the gym later but you see this big dark grey gloomy cloud above me which is incoming in this direction. I don't know if it's going to be possible. But let's see. Ooh, I'm running a little short on time. The time is already 3.30 p.m. So I'm only gonna have like about 30 minutes to shoot some hoops, but maybe I'll meet a few people there. Ooh, and given it's Holy Week, I don't know if that field or sorry, that basketball court is even open during this time of the week. So let's see. Whoa, navigating the streets of BGC, one-handed, using my mover scooter. Wheel. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little dangerous here. A little dangerous, Mercs. Woo! Oh, wow. They've closed the street off. For the construction of the new Alveo building by Ayala Land that's going up here called Park East Place. Damn. So uh, we're not going to get any more sunshine coming through here in BGC later on. Hello, madams. All right. Oh yes, I timed this traffic light perfectly. In five seconds, we should be able to cross. Usually this traffic light on this intersection or crossroad takes ages, absolutely ages. It's like a 160 second countdown until it turns green. Oh, okay. We're about halfway there. We're almost, we're almost there. The high street is coming up. Come on, let's go mover. These things are costing 45 pesos. My account is depleting. Depleting quicker than ever. Because they jacked up the price by another 50%. So I now have 50% less driving opportunity time on my wallet with the price hike. It's so sad. Oi, 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 oi. Well. Okay, let me cross. It is a zebra crossing. Thank you. Thank you for respecting the traffic laws okay wow i don't know if i should do any cuts i feel like not doing any cuts oh damn god damn it we're gonna have to wait 99 seconds for this to turn green so i'll cut the video here and we've resumed with 70 seconds left but you know there's nobody here there's no cars crossing so we're just gonna cross <laughs> all right I'm for Avenue on the mover scooter. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. This part of the pavement is pretty bumpy due to it being um, planks of concrete or squares of con concrete that have been laid down on the floor here. All right, this is the high street, folks. Pretty empty today. There's a lot of mover scooters on the corner there. More here. We've got a Nike Fort uh, shop that. It's just on the corner here where I bought some new white trainers. I don't think I've shown you guys those white trainers. Oh, speaking of new things as well, I've got this new like bum bag around my shoulder, um, which some friends of mine bought for me. It's really nice. I can now put my power bank in there, my tripod in there. It's perfect. It frees up my it frees up my pockets. Oh, why is it so windy in BGC? I think it's going to rain. That's why. Look at it. See that, folks. Now, we're approaching another park, but I don't know if this is track 28th or Terra 30th. I think this is more like Terra 30th, I don't know. It's not really a track this, is it? Or maybe it is, I don't know. Come on. I always get mixed up between the two parks here. There's two parks, one here, and then the other one next to Dean and DeLuca, back in that direction. It's pretty much the only, hello. How's it going, yo? Shout out, shout out. Pretty much the only two parks in BGC. In the uptown area, I guess. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. We're just crossing 27th. Oi! Yo, have I, have I messed it up? Oh, I think I have. I think the basketball court is actually on 8th. 8th Avenue. So I'm gonna take a right along here through the Meridian and Verb Complex. Oi. Just keep going, just keep going. I really like this area between the Meridian 
and the Verve. There's quite a few stores here, quite a few coffee chains. There's a Lawson on the corner there, and then you've got your American franchises here too, like such as your Texas Rose House. A brand new Shabu Shabu place has opened up on the corner here. It's called A1 Premium Shabu Shabu. And then we've got our chocolate over there. We've got something else over here too. I can't remember what that is. And then Barry Stark Coffee on this corner here. What? But I don't like this corner here because there's a really loud aircon unit making a tremendous amount of noise. Can you hear it? Okay, um, there it is. There's the basketball court. It's next to uh, Tryon and what is that called again? It begins with an A, I can't remember that condominium. Aura? Aura? No. Aurelia? Is it Aurelia? No. How, how has the name left me? I don't know. Oh, we've got some people actually playing right now as we speak. Oh, it looks like the closest mover parking space is just across the basketball court. So I'm gonna park it where these bikes are here and then cross the street once it hits a green man, which I think it's doing now. All right. Shit, I wonder if we can catch that 40 second green man. Okay, mover scooter's parked. We've still got how many seconds? 17 seconds left? Ooh. Yeah, we've got enough time, plenty of time, 12 seconds. There we are, folks. Okay, here it is. You know, I've yet to actually shoot any hoops. I did go in here the other day, I think it was like actually last week, and asked, uh, you know, how you sign up to play here. And that's how I found out, like, if you come here before 4 p.m., you can just do a walk-in thing. All right. There's quite a few people here. Let's see. Hey, hey, don't close the gate on me, security. Hello, Paul. How are you? Walking. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not 4 p.m., is it? Correct. When's the cutoff? 3 p.m. is... The cutoff? Cutoff for walking. Oh, really? I see. I see, I see. They, they didn't tell me that. Okay. 3 p.m. Well, it looks like the cutoff is at 3 p.m. if you want to do the walk-in. And the time is around about 3.40. I mean, I did just want to go inside and, you know, take a few shots. But uh, that, cute, that cool, yeah, security guard seems a little bit strict on the whole policy. So I guess I have to come back another day. Maybe I can go to one uptown and shoot a few hoops there.
my goodness me, right now is not the best time to be shooting some hoops. It's a really hot and humid day here in Metro Manila. I mean, the sun isn't really even out that much, but the humidity levels are super high. And you can tell I'm waking up quite a bit of a sweat just being in this core. It's much hotter than last time. And there's no winds coming through here to keep this place cool. Look at that. That nice sweaty mergs. Let's shoot some more hoops there. come to Mitsukoshi Fresh to get myself some water, but going with this brand, I have no idea what the name of this brand is. It says mineral water, two liter bottle. I thought I'd get it, because it looks rather peculiar, and it's from Japan, so I wonder if there's anything special about it. Let's taste this Japanese water in this Japanese mall underneath a sakura tree. Tastes pretty good. It almost tastes like it's from a natural spring. It does say it's mineral water, and uh, it says Tachimaya natural water, two liter bottle. Ingredients, water from a deep well. Per serving, the nutritional content for every 100 ml is one milligram of calcium, 0.09 milligrams of potassium, 0.17 milligrams of magnesium, and the pH value is 7.8 with a hardness of 32 milligrams per liter. I wonder from what deep well it's from. We don't know if this deep well is located in Japan or somewhere in the Philippines. Maybe in Rizal or Antipolo, who knows. But what we do know is there's definitely minerals in this. This cost me 125 pesos, much more expensive than your regular absolute or even distilled water from, uh, what is it called, Wilkinson. All right, we're now gonna leave Mitsukoshi Mall and head over back home where I can drop off my basketball and take maybe a nice little shower. I don't know if I've got time. How's it going, ma'am? Good to see you. Um, and be some friends for a coffee.